Well, we're going to look at is this right here. Preppers, we were held without charges for a survivalist Facebook post. This is in the Washington Standard. I will put a link down there because you guys really need to read this. It's no longer a conspiracy theory, but the fact that people are being specifically targeted for the participation in what are some are calling prepping and other and others dubbed survivalism. A couple from California had their home raided and held without charges for making nonviolent posts on Facebook about survival techniques and provoking discussions. Okay. When I first saw that and read that, I go, huh. Finger leg prepper, you better watch your butt. They they are creating threats out of our posts that are meant to elicit thought and discussion. And it just goes on. Well, yeah, they parked their car to strip mall, got out of the car, a patrol car from the Riverside County Sheriff's Department pulled up, blocked their path, two deputies got out and warned a couple, one of the taillights of the car was out. We attempted to thank them and proceed, but were blocked from movement. They noticed at that point a few more sheriff's vehicles arrived, including undercover vehicles. It wasn't a traffic stop. Guys with AR-15 surrounded the air. Began, I began to record on my phone and, and inquire as to whether I was being charged, detained, or was free to go. They finally cuffed me, threw my phone on the hood of the car, sent me to the back of an, an unair conditioned police vehicle for about an hour until their supervisor arrived, arrived to begin questionings about, yeah. You guys are going to have to read this. Now, not only were those people showed up, now, these were people were talking about, you know, infringing on, on, on the rights and... Uh, but this just, just reminds me of the 1990s when Clinton was in power and they were going after the so-called survivalist at the time. And I kept asking myself, why? Why are they afraid of preppers and survivalists? Is that because that these people could live on their own outside of, uh, should you say that you tried to confiscate firearms and, and round people up for the FEMA camp and these people would uh, just ignore you and... Uh, Go out and be able to live by themselves. They don't need your, you to do it. One of the agents of Alder Ray was from a National Terrorism Task Force and left a business card. Uh, Secret Service was also involved, which threw up a huge red flag. Yeah. You know. I say we have been very vocal and criticizing the Trump mission, have not wavered in the belief that politicians must be held accountable for their war crimes. And even a president is not a title powerful enough to give a man the right to kill or give the order to kill. That was the only reason I can imagine Secret Service was involved. It's truly asinine. It's always alert to all of us to be to guard yourself and uh, urge my friends to guard yourself against government spying. You know, uh, watch what you say on social media uh, about survivalism. Uh, work harder for life, free of shackles. Yeah. Now that was that was today. I'll put a link down here because you you really have to read this. April 4th, 2018, the Washington Standard. I'm uh, impressed that they put this up there. Um, I subscribed to them. Uh, this is really interesting, and you should all take note of what's going on here. You should read this, understand it, and don't say it can't happen to you.
They, I still to this day, you know, the only reason I can figure out why they're afraid of preppers and survivalists is they don't need the government to, to get by. If there's a big roundup of people, these people don't need the government. They got enough food and supplies to sustain them. But, you know, why don't these people go hunt up Obama and them? I mean, they stockpiled, I don't know how many millions or maybe even billions of rounds of ammo. They turned around and they stocked up on all this free, dry food. Of course, it's just, just to uh, save the people. Yeah, my ass. My ass. Yeah, uh, you guys got to be more aware of, of what, you're, what you're saying and, and the firearms you're post. That's what this lady's saying. I'll put the link in there. You go there. You read this thing. You know? That's all I can say, guys.